The Great Search brought to you by Edward and DigiKey. Every single week, Lady Ed uses her power of engineering to show you how to use DigiKey.com search. This week, the Great Search is... It's a capless stereo headphone amp that's very small, right? I want to, want to optimize for board size on this design. So let's go to the computer and I'll show the schematic. So for my design, um, I've got, let's see, I've got my board and it has audio out. In this case, I only have audio on A0, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna change that in design. There you go. Um, so audio output, and I want it to drive uh, stereo headphone output. And um, I want to have like a nice little amplifier. And um, the thing that was most important for me is I wanted a design that was capless. And what that means is, um, if you look here, uh, there is no DC block. Usually there's like 100 or 200 microfarad uh, amp uh, capacitors on the output of the amplifier into the headphone. And that's because like you don't want to have any DC signal um, going in. Normally like a class A or class AB has a, or you know, even class D, whatever, they have a DC offset, right? Usually you're, you have your ground and then your audio signal is above it going up and down, there's that DC offset, but you don't want that DC offset going into your speaker because it'll damage it. And so usually have like big ass blocking caps um, that allow for the 16 or eight or 32 ohm load um, and doesn't like diminish the spec uh, the frequency response. Um, but you'll notice here, there aren't any. And th for the design I'm doing, it has to be so tiny. You know, it, the whole thing is so small. It, one capacitor would fit like here. It would be just way too big. I wanted something that, you know, audio goes in, maybe there's a couple of resistors and capacitors just for like, you know, by, you know, just getting the signal in and um, doing the, um, uh, volume gain select but for the most part I don't want those like big chunky caps because even ceramic ones they're just way too big or tantalum they're just too big so this is a no cap um, headphone amp design and the way it works is if you notice here you're like oh what's this there's a switch cap um, uh, um, converter Ooh, can't remember the name of the not a boost converter it's like a um, inverter basically and allows it to generate a negative voltage um, by using a switch cap. And that way, um, this signal that comes out here is referenced uh, to a negative voltage as well as the positive voltage, you know, from the four volt to three volt power, it's generating a negative rail so that the output is right um, centered through ground, which is like super cool. You're gonna pay a little bit more, but usually these amplifiers are quite nice in general. So let's go to DigiKey. And I'm going to search for a headphone amp. Okay, and um, there's a whole bunch of stuff, but basically you want the, um, you know, the, the linear amplifiers. And uh, so I'm gonna go with, I only want the active designs because I wanna manufacture this. I want normally stocking. Now it might not be in stock right now because of the chip shortage, but like something that I can probably get in the next few weeks. I also notice by the way, a lot of chips are sort of coming into stock in the next few weeks. So if you've been waiting on something, um, and then uh, I'm gonna exclude uh, marketplace products. Okay, and for the first pass, here, so like, let's say like, oh wow, here's one for 60 cents, let's take a look at it. So when you open this up, you'll notice this design doesn't have um, the capless. It was like, oh hey, you need, you need some big ass capacitors on the output. Uh, to to remove the DC offset, so we don't want to use this. So that's that's no good. And and there's no like thing you can signal uh, filter from that'll signal that it's capless. Um, although sometimes they have, it's called like direct drive or like no cap. You know, there's sometimes names for it, but pretty much you just have to look at every data sheet real fast and just they'll let you know very quickly. Um, that said, the size is very important for me too. And so um, I definitely want only surface mount. There's only one that wasn't surface mount. And I don't want a big ass package. Like eight SOIC or TSOP is gonna be too big. It needs to be TDFN or QFN or TQFN. Those are the only ones that are gonna fit. 
So um, I'm going to select only the packages that I think are going to fit. So DFNs. I don't like BGA, so I'm going to skip those. No TSOPs. Um, more QFNs, QFNs, QFNs. I think no more than 24. Like that's at the max anyways. Okay, next up, I'm just going to check the voltage supply. You know, I'm running it off of three to six volts. So um, three to five volts. So I definitely can't run it off of the this 1.8 and 1.8. 9.5 uh, volt version, not gonna happen. Okay, so we only have like 19 options, so that's, that's much better. Um, so I went through these and there's, a, there's actually only a couple different families available, um, but when I sorted by price, um, there were a few that weren't in stock. The 488 was the one that needed the, um, the amplifier sorry, the, uh, the capacitors on the output. And so the first one that was available that was in stock <laughs> and also uh, had the, um, no capacitors required was the Max 9724. This looks like a really um, nice amplifier. It's got depop, it's got shutdown, it's adjustable gain, you know, and it's like basically 60 cents when you buy it in quantity. So um, this was the part that I picked. So I have some on order. And uh, maybe by next week, if I get the um, the PCBs in, uh, we can hear how it sounds. And hopefully it sounds pretty good. But um, I like this. It's a nice little headphone amplifier. I think this is, I'll probably use this in a couple other designs as well. It's very simple, but I really like that it has that uh, negative voltage rail generator inside. And this week is a special treat. Yeah. For the great search, we're going to play a DigiKey 1991 promotional video. It's amazing. To, since we're doing all this retro stuff, I know. Let's check it out. All right, put the floppy in the drive. Zip, 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 zip. It started in 1972. An idea, a new concept in distribution. Today, DigiKey Corporation represents one of the fastest growing electronic component distributors in the United States. At DigiKey, Service is the key. The success of this effort depends on a team of talents, employees, management, and staff committed to making DigiKey the best. In its first 10 years, DigiKey's marketing efforts were focused on the electronic hobbyist. Then, in 1982, they began targeting catalog mailings to the commercial market.